Hey, Resurrection Church family, Peter Elliott here. If we haven't met before, I'm the communication director here at the church. And I just wanna say, hey, we are so thankful that you are part of our church family, whether you attend here in Tacoma at the Federal Way location, or you're part of the Gig Harbor Church Plant that's gonna be launching in two weeks, actually. Uh, we just wanna say, hey, we're thankful that you call Resurrection Church your home and that you love Jesus and that you are part of our family and you worship with us. So we wanna say thank you for being here. I'm gonna actually start off this weekly video with some amazing news. Uh, we just heard back from CareNet of the Puget Sound, uh, who we partnered with for the baby bottle drive back around Mother's Day, where you guys brought your baby bottles home, filled them with cash, change, checks, whatever, and then brought them back for uh, Father's Day. We finally got our, our number total, and Resurrection Church donated $10,000 to help expecting moms and their babies uh, during their pregnancies, and also uh, new dads and classes that they offer for new dads as well. And so we just wanna say thank you that you guys actually donated above and beyond your regular giving and were generous in your hearts towards essentially the expecting moms, babies, and fathers in our South Puget Sound region. So we wanna thank you, church family, for being generous and for giving to that amazing organization. And actually coming up on September 10th, they're gonna be having actually a webinar event to learn about volunteering opportunities at the Tacoma location. The CareNet Puget Sound Tacoma location has actually been praying for more volunteers. And so this is a great way that we as a church can actually be a part of our community and get involved. Uh, and volunteer and one of our amazing port partner organizations. And so if you or uh, you and your life group are looking for an opportunity to serve, we would really encourage you guys to attend that essentially online webinar event where you'll learn about um, the different ways to volunteer and serve with CareNet uh, at the Tacoma location. And so you can find more information about that actually in the weekly. We're gonna include it for the next couple weeks just so you have the information available to you. This last week for our sermon series, we actually finished up our sermon series in the book of Nehemiah called Build Together. And so through it all, we have seen about how there's always, through all of human history, there's been times of brokenness. We had just experienced a time of brokenness with COVID, with broken relationships, broken political systems, uh, you know, racial strife, all these different issues, a crumbling economy. It just seemed like a time of brokenness. And that's not new. Throughout all of history, there's been these moments. And through it all, though, God is always faithful to build. Uh, and not necessarily according to our plans, but according to his own. So we followed the story of Nehemiah rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem as we were thinking of what can we learn from Nehemiah to also rebuild here within our own life, within our relationships, within our church, and also within our community. And so we, we, we essentially saw the ability, we, we, we saw how we could point out brokenness, how we could address it, we could create a plan to tackle it, we could build a team to help us do that, and then we could repent of our, of our brokenness. We could actually start addressing it, and then when we start addressing it and rebuilding, we can celebrate to God that he is faithful to us. And then we talked about the importance of continuing as we build, continually not taking that for granted, but striving towards faithfulness continually. And it all led up to this week where Nehemiah gave us the charge that, hey, we've rebuilt, we need to continually live holy. And Pastor Bubba explained to us really everything led up to that last moment where the heart of the matter was, because Jesus makes us holy, it makes us want to be holy like Jesus that we don't essentially build our lives in order to essentially parade around of, look how amazing we are. Look at all the good deeds that I do. Look at all the amazing acts I do. Look at everything I've built for myself. But in reality, we get to say with one voice as the church, look what Jesus has done among us. He has been faithful to build his church. Uh, he is the one who's faithful to make us holy with the work he did on the cross and through his resurrection. So the final challenge for us was to have that, that essentially humility to live a holy life set apart for Jesus to where we essentially continue to build with God in our lives and we keep giving him the praise that it is Jesus doing the work in us, not ourselves. 
And so we were, we were so excited. We've been really blessed by that sermon series, but we're all also excited to move forward into our next sermon series. In two weeks, we're going to be starting Life with Jesus, A Journey to the Gospel of John. We're going to talk about what it was like for Jesus to live like with the disciples, John as his best friend, and to really ask the question of, of what, is, what was it like to live like with Jesus then? And then what's it going to be for us to live life with Jesus now in our current context here in the 21st century? And so we invite you, get ready for that. Over the next two weeks, this coming week, we have Lonnie Arnold from New Salem Baptist preaching. We're in the racial reconciliation cohort that he leads, and he's doing that this Sunday. And then the Sunday after is gonna be our sending Sunday for the Gig Harbor Church Plant, where they're gonna go essentially soft launch and start doing weekly services in the harbor. And so Pastor Drew will be preaching for that week as they're sent out to do that. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up. We invite you to keep on coming on Sunday uh, to hear those messages and then to be a part of the new sermon series in the fall. Three really quick announcements. Number one, this Saturday, Women's Book Club, it's the second meeting of the two. There's still time to register. Just go to the events page on the website. You'll see the link to register so that way we know how many people are coming to buy breakfast for you guys. Again, you guys know the drill. It's going to be an amazing time for you to meet other women in the church uh, and also just to talk about an amazing book and celebrating essentially the value that God puts on women. So we invite you to that. That's again this Saturday uh, at, at the Tacoma Building, 9 to 11 a.m. September 12th at 1245, Sunday after the second service, we're having our third and final Tacoma Park party. We're gonna have the same music bumping. We're gonna have the blow-ups. We're gonna have some new group activities this time, and we're gonna have a free meal for you. Again, we're asking you register. We want this to be the biggest and best one yet. So bring your friends, invite your family, invite your neighbors, anyone you see on the street, people at Costco, people at the Rainiers game, just invite them all. Tell them go to resurrectionchurch.com slash events and just to register at the park party. We'd love to see you there, church family. And then lastly, this Sunday, Life Group signups open up, okay? So we value life groups. Life groups are one of our core four things that we do because we think that we gather together corporately, but then we gather in smaller settings to actually integrate what we learn into our daily lives and into our community. And so life groups are just a group of 10 to 16 people who are meeting in their local neighborhoods. And what you guys do, what you do is you have a time of community, getting to know each other. You have a time of Bible study, and then you have a time of prayer together where you pray for each other, you pray for our church, and you also pray for our city and our nation. Uh, and so we do this specifically so that way we can take the truths we learn on Sunday in our corporate gathering and then apply them more in our neighborhoods that we actually live in. And so if you're not in a life group, we wanna encourage you, sign up for a life group. It's really important to, to have that community where you get to go deeper and do Bible study together and study God's word together. So we wanna invite you to that to sign up starting on Sunday. Just go to resurrectionchurch.com slash groups and you will see the you'll see the different options to sign up. We have six new groups. We have plenty of space. So just make sure, again, you get into one of those life, life groups. We really want you to do that church family to be in a community where you're going deeper into God's word. Church family, I know this was a long uh, weekly. There was a lot of exciting stuff to get to, but more than anything, we're thankful for you. We're thankful for the people of Resurrection Church. Resurrection Church is the people, and we are so thankful for all of you who call this your church home and make the Resurrection Church what it is. And so we are so excited to see you this Sunday, and we're so excited to worship with you. We hope you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you back here on Sunday. Thanks so much, church family.